aspiring guitarist. You know, today, I, I'm an old fart. I'm 63. And one of the things a lot of us older guitarists talk about are, are hand problems, arthritis. You know, y'all know I have a Dupuytren contracture. Um, but, you know, I suffer from a little bit of osteoarthritis. Like, you know, it, it almost is... I'm not going to say it's inevitable. There are health things, and I'm not going there. Y'all know I don't play that game. But anyway, one of the, the things that gets talked about, you know, I'm just too old. My, my fingers hurt. Is there something I can do, you know, to, to uh, make it where it doesn't hurt my fingers so bad because I don't get to play that often, so I don't get the calluses. You know, I got some calluses. So... They talk about putting on lighter gauge strings. Now, many guitars ship with 13 gauge strings on the high E string, 13 to 56. There's all kind of, you know, all I'm doing is calling out the, the first string and the sixth string, you know, the number, and that's a whole nother topic. But basically what people start doing is they talk about lighter strings. Well, I actually ran an experiment when I got back to teaching my wife again. I didn't want her to go through the, remember I taught her in high school 40 years ago, but she wanted to learn again. And I was trying to ease her pain, but I tried an experiment. Now this is her Luna Starry Night guitar, and it's a small scale guitar. It's not as long as other guitars. So you're gonna have a shorter scale. Now what's the scale? The scale is measured from the bridge saddle to the nut. And of course this is the nut up here where the strings from the headstock cross over onto the neck. So what I did, and you know at first she was like, well yeah, that's a lot better. But then I got her back on another guitar because First off, I put nylon strings on here. So I put nylon strings uh, on a guitar that wasn't designed to use nylon strings because they're high tension strings. Now, one of the things you find out right quick, you, there's a reason that they put thicker strings on shorter scale guitars. And a lot of it has to do with making it keep the sound because the string choices you make are going to change the tone. They will change other, they'll change the action, the neck relief, the intonation, and that's not what this video is about. We're talking about people that move to lighter strings and I often hear say, well, it didn't help. Well, th generally there's a reason it didn't help. Now, I put nylons on here with ball ends. You may say, well, how can you do that? It's not a nylon guitar. It's not, well, they make ball-in nylon strings to put on a regular bridge and saddle. And I knew what was gonna happen, and it did. Well, I, I haven't even tuned this. That's almost a dull sound, but it's a dull sound that also almost sounds like a ukulele. And it's out of tune. Why is it out of tune? Because it takes forever for nylon strings to stretch when you put them on a steel guitar. Now, here's the problem. So what happens, all right, this is my Gibson L00. That's a fret 37. It allows me to stand it up, but yet you can keep it on. I, I did a video about that. So one of the first things I did when I bought this L00, and I love it, um, I changed the strings. It came with 13 gauge strings too, and I dropped them down to a 10 gauge. But this is what people do. Many of us that learned to play the guitar back in the 60s and 70s and 80s, we didn't have this wide array of lower end guitars that they have now that, that actually play fairly well. A lot of our beginner guitars, man, the action, the distance from the string to the fret was so high 
you felt like you needed a lot. I mean, you had to push hard to get a cord to ring out. I mean, you really did. Uh, you know, I told you in one of my other videos, I saved up for three summers cutting grass until I was 12 years old and bought my first decent guitar, which was an Epiphone. And I was like, oh, wow, it's so easy to play. We weren't pushing down for a country mile. So think about what I just said. You had to push really hard. Some of us old guys and young people do this too. They're so used to coming from a guitar, they had to push down. Also, they find out like people talk about moving from an acoustic to an electric, how easy it is. So you lower the gauge of the strings, but here's what you don't do. You don't lighten up on your push. You're still biting down enormously. You're pushing. What you're going to find out when you put these lighter gauge strings on, you don't have to push as hard. And so why are your fingers still hurting? Because you're pushing so dang hard. You know, press down like you normally do, you know, and make a chord. Any chord, doesn't matter what it is. And you're pushing hard. Well, lighten up a little. And you're like, doggone, it's still ringing out. Lighten up a little more. Doggone, lighten up a little more. I, I just now started the thud. You'd be amazed at different scales, how they play different gauges. We got so used to playing hard, biting down hard. Try not to. Just just see. And you may go, oh, wow. I don't have to press that hard anymore. Now, I'm not trying to start the lighter gauge, heavier gauge. They're different sounds. It, it, it's like whether you're in the mood for a Whopper or a Big Mac or a steak or shrimp or whatever. It's a choice. But a lot of times when I hear you know, older guys and gals talking about, you know, they're trying to make compensation for their arthritis and things like that. They'll say, well, I went to lighter strings and it didn't help. Lighten up your touch. Try that. You'd be amazed. Different guitars have different touches, but the string gauge really does matter. So if you get a lighter gauge string, try not to press down so hard just you know you're making an a minor just slightly put it down see wow it rings out i didn't have to press that hard a lot of bar chords people don't realize they're having a hard time with the bar chord and they're like i used to play that back in high school why can't i play it they are pushing down so hard and if they just backed off and lightened up they're like, you know i had a thing about that darn f chord where i told you you got to try different things but when you go to lighter strings, try a lighter touch. Hope you have a blessed guitar journey, and remember, as always, happy picking.